Corporate finance practice problem using Excel. Cumulative voting problem number three. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you have access to the Excel worksheet and would like to follow along, note that we're in the practice tab as opposed to the example tab. The example tab, in essence, being an answer key. Information on the left-hand side, we're going to populate that into the blue area on the right-hand side, looking into the cumulative voting type of situation that's different than standard or straight voting in that instead of basically having a vote for everybody that you're voting for, in this case, the board of directors in a corporation, you're going to have this cumulative structure so that you can basically consolidate some of your votes into a particular area it's designed generally or thought of to help the minority interest to be able to pick more people or have more influence in a voting situation by consolidating and focusing their voting power in a in a different way so how many shares are needed to elect directors we want five directors out of nine uh, so we're thinking the, the directors are up for election we got nine of them we want to elect five or we want to think about how many shares would be needed in order to pick up the five out of nine. So note, when you think about the cumulative voting, then uh, you're, you're thinking basically you're going to have the number of shares that are going to be out there and then everybody gets a vote for the number of sh for the number of directors, but they don't have to vote on each director themselves. They can vote for whoever they want. They consolidate their votes so the formula for this type of calculation is generally down below it's the shares required times the the number of directors needed times the total number of shares outstanding on the numerator denominator total number of directors to be elected plus one and then we add that one to that whole thing i'm going to put this formula into a table type format up top i do think it's it's helpful to kind of work these out in a table obviously if you're working this in a book problem for a test situation then you want to make sure that you can do it algebraically write it out algebraically paper and pencil but for practice on, on the excel worksheet and i do think practice in practice putting these types of formulas into a worksheet useful tool to have so you can run scenarios so we'll take the number of directors desired so number of directors that are desired was five so let's put that here we're going to say that was five and then we have the outstanding shares so the shares that are outstanding are going to be the 250,000 shares. So that's going to be this component of our formula. So the number of directors needed times the total number of shares. That'll give us the numerator. So then we have our numerator being the 5 times the 250,000. We'll underline the 250 home tab font group and underline. And then we're going to pick up the total number of directors to be elected total number of directors to be elected now we're looking at the bottom component here that being nine so we're picking up nine and then we're going to add one to it in accordance with our denominator plus one that will give us the denominate or underlining font group and underline we're going to then say we have the nine plus the one is going to be ten that We'll put an underline under the 10, go into the home tab, font, and underline, and then let's divide this out. We're going to be picking up the 1,250,000 divided by the 10. That gives us 125,000. Then we're simply going to add one to that entire thing, as is in our formula down below. So we'll add then the one. That'll give us the shares needed, the shares that we're going to need in order to elect the five out of nine directors. Five out of nine directors. Let me get that again. Hold on a sec. Shares needed. So there we have it. That's going to be the 125,000 plus 1, 125,001. So remember the idea of this is we're trying to say, okay, if, if we had this many shares, then to get 5, even if basically all other shares, everybody else basically knew what we were doing and tried to stop us could we still pick up is there any way that we they could you know stop us that's going to be our game theory kind of scenario here and so we're thinking that we're going to need 125,000 and one shares to be picking up five out of nine meaning that even basically if everybody else knew our strategy and they tried to stop us from doing that they basically wouldn't be able to that's the general idea of it so let's kind of work this out and think it through and see why that might make sense so for example if we said that we had the outstanding shares were 250,000 shares and then we multiply that times the total number of directors that are going to be elected so we're going to be electing nine people 
Nine people are going to be elected. Underline in that. Underline. That's going to give us the votes. So the total votes that are out there are going to be the number of shares, and they all get nine votes. They don't have to vote for each of the directors that are up in place here, but they get uh, they get nine votes times their share. So that's going to be 2,250,000 votes out there. Now, I'm not going to look at this in terms of the minority and majority, even though that's kind of traditionally how it was put in place. It was thought that, again, the minority vote would have more power to be able to consolidate instead of just being uh, the majority having complete uh, control, which is more kind of the situation in a straight type of voting situation. So I'm just going to say hours in there. So we're imagining these are these are how many votes we need to get five out of nine. So that's a pretty significant number out of nine, right? So how many votes would we need? We would need, we said, uh, how many shares would we need? We would need 125,001 shares times nine uh, nine board members up. So we multiply that times time nine votes per share that we will have. The 125,001 times nine gives us the 1,125,009. So if we're looking at other people, then we're going to just look at two categories, us and everybody else. Now, obviously, there's a lot, there's a lot more going on, most likely in a, in a scenario. But that's what we're, you know, we're trying to consolidate everybody else as if they're going to try to compile against us and see if they could, what could they do? So in a worst case scenario where someone tried to block what we wanted to do, that's going to be the idea. So although, of course, there's going to be multiple shareholders, could be in multiple people's hands, if we're consolidating this many shares with us, then, and we consider everybody else as everybody else and think about what if they tried to stop us from doing what we want to do here, could they do it? That's kind of the idea. So then if we subtract this out, we have the total shares of 250,000 minus the 125,001. And then we'll multiply that times the nine font group, underline the nine, multiplying this, this is the 124,999 times the nine. And that's going to give us the 1,124,994. So these are how many votes could, could potentially try to stop us if they were trying to stop us. And these are our votes that we can, we can put into place. So our strategy then is to try to consolidate our votes to get the maximum people on the board that we can. And that's going to be five out of nine. So five out of nine. So let's do it then. We're going to say, let's let's just think about how this might work. If we number our people uh, to, to nine, five out of nine. So we have nine candidates that we're going to be uh, looking into. And we just need to pick up five out of nine of them. Now, it doesn't really matter you know, who wins by how much, as long as someone, as long as you're within the top nine, then that's good. It doesn't matter where, you, you know, how many votes you got within there, typically. So we're going to then say these are our candidates. So there could be more than nine candidates, of course, and then we're going to vote for them. So let's just assume that we want our nine or just our, our five happen to be the top five. These are the people we want there. So we're going to say A through E. Those are our people. We want them in place. So our strategy is just to take our votes. So we said we had the 1,125,009 and divide it by five people instead of voting on nine, nine here. So we'll just div divide it out. And there we have it. And then, and then the idea is debate, well, what could the other people do if everybody else tried to knew what we were doing, which they probably don't, and they they wanted to conspire against us the whole the whole other group which they probably wouldn't because there probably would be some people a significant amount for talking publicly traded stock that aren't even going to vote but we're going to imagine that they all do that they all you know try to block us and know what we're doing then could they even then you know could they stop us in that situation and of course the scenarios could be changing if you're talking about corporate finance stocks and if you're talking about electing a board of directors for a government agency or a not-for-profit, the circumstances can change. But the strategy here, you can kind of see how this would work. So then you, you're going to, so then they can add up their people over here and try to add them up. We basically gave them these four. So they could basically, you know, choose whatever they want for those four, but they're going to have to beat out uh, one of these people up top in order to, in order to win. So you would think they'd have to go to 225003 and to beat to beat them out for four for four candidates now they could try to go for a tie right they could try to go for a tie like this and but even then they'd still need to uh, get one more that's going to be over the top that could basically 
kick out one of these other uh, these other five. So they would need then, and I, and I summed up these over here just so you can see that's going to be the one million one twenty five oh oh nine. So that would mean how many votes do they have left? They've got this one one two four nine nine one minus the sum of these items that they've used up and closing that up so that means they've only got 224 uh, 983 so even if they basically tried to say these are these are all going to be tied and and be in there and then they're going to have you know the one more that would be over over the top then they don't have that uh, they don't have that there they don't have the votes here to to kick out one of these other guys so if i was to sum these up if i was to sum them up this way for our total votes then and copy that down i'm gonna i'm gonna paste it so i don't get the green all the way down pasting it formulas only just the formulas and then we'll sum up this way summing this up so there we have it so so now they've used up their votes here and there's the total votes that we have here now if we were just to put these in so we can sort them in our table to the to the right i'm going to copy these the names paste them here paste them one two three and then i'm just going to copy the results so that we can then sort them and paste them one two three and then i'll make our top five those are our green ones those are our candidates and then if i was to sort them by the number of votes they got sorting them out z to a then even though these these people are tying here right they're tied our our people can't basically get, be kicked out they're not gonna they're not gonna kick us out by with that strategy because they would need this last one to remove them so they could beat us they can beat us with these four candidates and uh and and have a higher total but they can't basically formulate their votes so that they can be, they can remove any of the five out of the nine that we put together that's the general strategy the general idea and just note that this tying thing would be kind of a strange situation as well because if they tried to tie here even if this last one was above the 225003 let's say it was it beat out any of the other ones this one would then be on top and then you'd have a, a, a tie between all the eight way tie and then they'd have to argue that that all of their other <laughs> their other candidates are are above you know these candidates in order to win that so you would think that they would generally need you know the general strategy they would use is to beat out by having one vote higher you know here and then have to have this one to be higher but again you could have a, a strange situation where they where there's this tie situation as well and then you'd have to look in the rules and see what what happens you know when there's a tie